Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ohema. Welcome if you are a returning subscriber. Hey! <laughs> I have actually been procrastinating. Oh my God, I've had to film this video for like two days now. And for some odd reason, I just, like I get ready and I sit down and then the day just goes by and I haven't filmed it, okay? I feel like ever since 2021 started, I have just gone from let's go, let's go, let's go to, oh, I just want to sleep. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, hopefully I get over it soon because right now I'm like, maybe I should just film this tomorrow and I've been procrastinating. It's enough. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm doing that today. In today's video, I actually caught one of Super Sales. If you don't know, Super Sense is the owner of Crayon Case. Every once in a while, she has like a sale going on on her website and I was actually finally able to catch one of her sales and actually everything I wanted was also in stock. So I went ahead and picked up a few things and I decided to go ahead and show you guys what these are. So if you want to see what I got from the Crayon Case, what we can do with it, and hopefully if you want to see any of these in a video by themselves just let me know because I do plan on using one of the products in a video by itself but today I'm just going to show you whatever I got from from crayon case and we're gonna actually do like a full face of makeup and see what it do okay so if you want to see the crayon case on Ohema then keep on watching oh also we have new nails these nails are from Nailed by Asia on Instagram and this is what they look like I will leave her info down below in the description box so you can see it. So for the next two weeks, these are gonna be my nails. Let's go ahead and jump into the crayon case. I first, so first I picked up the big box of 64 shades. It opens double like so. Okay, and this is how big it is. It is huge. It's bigger than my head, and that's saying something. Okay, and it folds back like that. You can actually fold it back. That's pretty cool. Looks like that. Ooh, I like the reflection on my face. Ooh, ooh. And I feel like it has literally every shade you could possibly need in here. And also has some glitter shades in here. There's too many shades. This is the straight side. When you flip it over, oh, my nails are digging into these shades. When you flip it over, this is what the two sides come together look like. And you can see I've already like dug into the shades already. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do a green look today. My plan was to do like a green monochromatic look. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I also see a green glitter in here. So I think I'm just gonna do a green look with green glitter there are a few green options in here so i don't know which green i'm gonna use but that's what this one looks like i feel like if you're if you're a makeup artist and you buy this palette especially if you're a beginner makeup artist you're gonna be able to use this to do colorful looks neutral looks smoky eye because there's a black shade in here called allen um you can do black smoky eyes you can do a colorful black smoky eye you can do a lot with this palette um actually from what i'm seeing in here next i got the blush binder and the blush binder was one that she announced last year and i wanted to get it ever since and it's always been sold out so we were lucky enough to catch it during the sale this is what it looks like it opens into three sections so this is the first side of it and the second part of it and the third the third the third part of it okay it is a very big it's a very big product if you are someone who is not as deep as me you're going to be able to use this one and this one as your bronzer oh i can use this as a bronzer okay okay i see you i feel like i could definitely use this one as a bronzer or this one and then of course there's several many options in here for blushes i also got this um the loose leaf makeup wipes i got these because a lot of people love this to remove their makeup but all, i don't use makeup wipes to remove my makeup however i do need a lot of um makeup wipes because i clean stuff i clean my hands because you guys want swatches now and all that so i'm not gonna swatch the big box of crayons because it is too big there are too many colors in here and i don't think i'm gonna be able to swatch it like all on my hands for you it's just not possible okay well i got two velvet liquid lipsticks 
and is this a liner oh and the line me liquid liner okay so i'm gonna go ahead prep my eyelids and we'll jump into it if you need to see a video on how i prep my eyelids i will definitely leave the link down below for you so let's go ahead and jump into the eye look okay you guys so this is what i got going on i don't know which green i'm gonna use i don't want to look up at you because i'm gonna crease my little base that i got going on oh my god this is huge i'm gonna make a mess i'm taking this shade right here okay yeah this is not working out for me i'm just gonna stamp it into my base okay remember if you haven't yet seen my eyeshadow 101 video or how to make a color pop video i this is exactly what i'm doing i'm just taking a shader brush this is actually a softer shader brush than i would normally use and i'm just stamping the color into my base it's a very beautiful shade too just stamping into my crease i'm gonna go for that circular eye look i don't know if i'm gonna wing it out or not i probably would but for now okay 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 i'm just stamping it in this is a more yellow based green compared to grant grant is that deep evergreen okay so i'm just using the same brush blending the edges of this out just ever so lightly blending out i don't know why i feel like there's so many shades in the palette but all i want to do is a monochromatic look this blended out so nicely i'm taking some of the shade rapids rapides i think it's rapids i don't know i don't it's, it's like this yellow shade in there um you can use that to blend the edges of this out to give you a little bit more of a yellow transition if you want but what i really want to do is go in with an orange shade okay you guys so i went ahead and did this blend because i was seeing green and orange like i opened this palette and i immediately thought green and orange I decided to go ahead and blend one one out and see what it was gonna look like the green and the orange blended in beautifully it was a dream okay torches not to torches i am taking this neon orange shade over here called Nachi Toches, I think. And what I'm gonna do is actually just blend inside the green. I'm not gonna blend outside it. Do you see how the orange blends so nicely into the green? Gives it a more, a deeper, more richer tone at the top of it. I feel like it just makes it look better compared to just blending it out with yellow or red. The orange just gives it a better tone in my opinion. And these two shades blend so beautifully together even though they're like really crazy. And also keep in mind this is a neon neon orange shade. I'm going back into Saint, Saint John de Baptiste and I am going to blend into the orange that we laid down. Because I blended it lower into my green so now I gotta go take back my green territory okay so right now it's just a back and forth blend between the neon orange and the green until i get the shape to look exactly like this other side okay so i'm taking the abh glitter adhesive it's very fluid i'm definitely gonna be trying out the next one to see what i think about that one but with this one this is what it's very fluid looks like nail polish i'm just gonna place some on my eyelids okay i'm taking the huda beauty sparkle and shine brush pointe coupe i'm sure it's point de coupe of the brush and i'm gonna place point de coupe which is this beautiful glitter shade on the glitter adhesive i can appreciate point de coupe the shade point de coupe i can appreciate it a gold green glitter shade i can appreciate it okay guys so it's time to go in with the blush i'm gonna go into the crayon case blush binder and you know this thing has a lot of shades in here i am um, Ooh, this is deep. Ooh, 
Ooh, this is deeper than what I actually am used to. I'm going to take this shade and this shade, combine both of them and, you know, blush it out. But you can see that this is showing up a little bit. I feel like this would be a good, um, a good bronzer shade hue to it. So I'm going into this one. Okay, and I'm going to place it up here. I know, I said I was gonna try to try out the orange blush in there, but mm, old habits and all that. <laughs> okay, so this one definitely has like a slight purplish hue to it. There's so much product in these two uh, palettes that I got that I feel like if you wanted to use only this for a while, you probably will be you probably will be able to use only this for a while. Okay, so this is it for now. I'm not gonna add any more blush. The color payout is amazing and it is also very intense. As you can see, the blush has taken over my face and I don't <laughs> I think I'm here for it, but I don't know. But it's it's definitely definitely showing up, okay? Okay, so these are the two lippies that I bought from the crayon case. So I bought the shade Broadway, which is the top shade, beautiful, deep, almost like a deep burgundy shade. I thought it was a deep brown shade. It's brown, but it has a little bit more red in there. And the bottom shade is called Cherokee. Okay, I am gonna go in with the shade Cherokee, of course. It smells very nice, actually. I have a thing for these uh, gray looking shades. I don't know. I just like gray looking browns, gray looking pinks, right up my alley. So I was waiting for it to get dry, but I don't think that it is a dry kind of a lip product. It says velvet lipstick, so I honestly think that it's this is as dry as it's gonna get. It's a little bit kind of tacky, so I'm gonna put some gloss over it this is the clear gloss from the um friends uh collection with makeup revolution anytime i need to use this palette i'm just gonna open it up like a book and I am not going to uh, be picking it up to show you guys the shades because of how it is. I don't want to have to keep digging into the shades uh, with my giant nails, like my kids will call it. Okay guys, so this is my finished look using a few new products from the crayon case. I am absolutely in love with this monochromatic eye look. Um, although I have like, a few different colors on my eyes it just showed up as monochromatic i have a neon orange on i have a green on i have this beautiful gold green glitter on my eyes and i also have a blue shimmer shade in my inner corners now all the all of them together it complements the green every which way you turn it so it makes it look like it's monochromatic but it's actually not monochromatic so this is it for me showing you guys the crayon case for the first time on my channel and also it's the first time i've ever used crayon case like ever so thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye